it has been exceptionally chilly the last few days so I want soup so I want something a little lighter and I feel like I should have something chickeny so I decided I wanted to try to make some sort of chicken lemon soup I do not have a recipe for this I'm just kind of winging it i will write down what i'm using in the description but feel free to adjust anything you want if you want to change up the starch i'm going to be using some pasta but you can use rice barley you don't have to use anything it's very customizable so let's start prepping so we can make soup i've decided that i want everything in this soup as cute and little as possible because i'm using this did a little teeny uh, that's what I call it. It's really diddleini. <laughs> um, but it's just these little baby cylinder-like pasta. So I feel like this should be a cutie little chicken soup. The cutest little celery that you ever did see. Trying not to be a crazy person today and make too much, but like, I don't know how to do that, but I can already tell that I'm going to be making too big of a batch of this. Celery. Carrots. I'll start with two for now. And last in the mirepoix of things, onion. This is actually a larger than life sweet onion. I don't think I'll be, eh, I like a lot of onion in my soup, so I might use all of this, but I'm going to dice this up pretty finely. Get my little dice. I'm gonna start doing horizontal cuts. Be very careful. And then your vertical. And this is my favorite part, you dice. And you have all of these little baby pieces small little onions onto the plate you go a huge bunch of italian parsley you can just get the leaves off of these things of course i got a ton of stems <laughs> and lemon and parsley go together so well anyway i thought that it was a natural addition to my soup got my parsley gather it together and make a big old fat parsley cigar this will help me at least a little bit. Put this to the side. Lemons, very important. Before I juice these, I'm gonna zest them. I want this tasting real lemony. Look at that. Mm. I'm gonna be putting my stock in here later, so I'm just gonna juice the lemons right into there so everything goes in at once last thing I have is my chicken. I just got one of those rotisserie chickens the other day and I just picked it into little bite-sized pieces. And I'm keeping the light and the dark meat in here because dark meat is more flavorful and delicious, but also the white kind of mixes it up a bit. There. I have got all of my prep done. This is all I'm putting in my soup. It's perfect, it's simple, and it's gonna be so delicious. So now we can head on over to the stove and get it going. I got my big boy out today because if I make too much, I don't wanna to have to switch pans. So this is just a precaution, <laughs> but I'm putting a little bit of olive oil in here. I've got it on like a medium heat. I really like to saute my vegetables before making the soup portion. A lot of people just dump the veggies in and let that go, but sauteing is always my preferred method. More flavor. In go all the veggies, coat everything in the oil, get it going, salt and pepper. I'm just gonna cook these for like maybe five to seven minutes. I don't wanna cook them completely, soften them up just a baby bit. I completely forgot. I wanted to put a couple of bay leaves in here, so that's what I'm gonna do now. And I have these celery flakes, and I love these. They are so delicious. I know I have celery in here, but these add such a different kind of flavor. I'm gonna put in some of this. The celery flakes stay in, obviously, but later on when we are ready to eat this thing, we'll take the bay leaves out. 
don't let me forget. My vegetables are almost there. The last couple minutes, I am going to plop my chicken in. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of all-purpose flour in here. That'll thicken the soup up just a little bit and it'll make it a little bit more creamy without having to add any extra cream or cheese. So I'm gonna cook that flour off just for a minute or so. And then in goes all of my chicken stock. This is where you're gonna kind of want to gauge what you're doing with any starch that you're putting in here. I like a little bit of a thicker soup, so I'm going to cook my pasta in the soup. But if you wanna keep it on the thin side or you wanna control it a little more, I would cook your pasta, your rice, whatever you're using separately, and then at the end, dump it in. So that way it doesn't absorb so much of the liquid in here and make it thicker. I'm gonna let this kind of go. I'm gonna bring it up to a boil and then I'll let it simmer for like 20 minutes and half an hour. It doesn't need a whole ton of time. I'm also gonna add my lemon zest and the parsley will be probably one of the last things to be added so it doesn't get too crazy in there. We have been boiling, simmering away for maybe 15, 20 minutes and I think that I want to I'm gonna try one of these carrots to see how done they are. I'm going to add the pasta right into the soup. And you want to keep this boiling obviously to cook it and stir it constantly you do not want that pasta to burn on the bottom i've done it before and it is not exciting so just keep working this and when your pasta is done your soup is done and it's going to keep getting thicker add more liquid as you want to my pasta is done i am going to finish this off now i'm going to take out the bay leaves Thank you very much for doing your job, Mr. Bayleaf. Where is your friend? There it is. You don't want to be eating these. I'm going to turn the heat off. Also, if you want to taste this right now, adjust your seasonings. Go for it. I'm going to add in a big handful of parsley. This is a pot of soup. Before I plate any of this up, I'm going to do what I do with all of my soups or dishes like this. I'm going to take it off the heat. I'm going to cover it for like five ten minutes this really helps it kind of marry all together and it just makes it a little better in my opinion so I'm gonna leave this here for now and we'll check back in see it just tightened right up the pasta is all plump and juicy plate it up This is the part where I burn my mouth off and I never learn my lesson. Mm. Wow. Mm. And it's warming me from the inside out, which is soup's number one job. I think there could even be more lemon in here. I might go with three lemons next time, but you can definitely taste it comforting. This is perfect and it is the perfect season for this soup. If you want to give this to someone, like if someone made this for me, I'd automatically think they were in love with me, they wanted to marry me, they wanted me to have their children, or I guess like they're a nice person and they wanted to make me a meal. Whatever you want to believe and I think that you should try it. It's just so good. <laughs> Enjoy!